Back at 649, Sioux Rapids, Iowa resident turned author Richard Lodi is one of the happiest people I know and has the most positive attitude of anyone I know. And he and his lovely wife Sharon just happen to have created the most beautiful, kind, thoughtful, and loving man I know, my boyfriend Justin. All right, welcome, Rich. It's good oh, to have you thank here. You. I'm so sure you are be author fun. of 21 books. 21 books. And they all have a theme. You are a very spiritual and positive person. So what what can people get out of your books? Well, they're going to get a very unique experience from the books because, they're, like you say, they're very spiritual, but yet they're not religious. They do not have a religious doctrine or religion creed or anything like that. They're, they're self-help books where you draw upon the spirit and you just live a fantastically happy life. Um, let's talk about this. Uh, why did you pick us for your cover for winning happiness in the game of life? Well, actually... I saw how happy Justin was. I mean, I have never seen that guy in my whole, the whole 40 years of his life so radiantly happy. And I thought, well, I would take this picture showing his happiness and also this one. Because look at that man. I mean, I, and I titled it the solar plexus and the sun god because this man actually does look like a sun god to he me. He really I mean, does. To me too, Rich. He is just a fantastic guy. Let's give me your analysis of, of the, the phone. Remember you were telling me this story oh, last night? Oh, the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we all carry these cell phones, and uh, it has really helped me to explain what the spiritual life is like. Now, with the cell phones, some people have the internet on their phone. I do not. But uh, uh, the internet is worldwide. You can pick up, the, pick up the phone and you can get gather any knowledge anywhere in the world. And it doesn't make any difference where you're at. You can be in Alaska, you can be in Iowa, Minnesota, South Dakota. Uh, and God is like that. He's all over, completely, everywhere, and all of God, him, her, is just everywhere. And you can draw into any type of knowledge you want, just like you would with a smartphone. I want to that's what my books try to teach. They try to teach you how to tap into this internet. This God that's out there all over, any place. And uh, some people have smartphones. I, actually, I have a smartphone. I don't mean to brag, not here, but I have a smartphone mm -hmm. here. Now, a lot of people walk around with phones like this. All I can, all I can, I used to. <laughs> all I can do is text people, you know, right. and, and, and call them. That's all I have. But, but up here I have the smartphone, and I want everybody to have a smartphone. I want them to go from this phone to, to the smartphone. And when you say that, you mean the spiritual? The spiritual yes. smartphone. We're already out of time. Can you believe that? Oh, I can't believe Tell it. Tell people how, where they can get their books. I, I would say the best way, since I do not have a lot of time, they're worldwide. You can pick them up anywhere. You can call Barnes Noble anywhere. But I okay. suppose the easiest way to do do this would would uh, go go to your internet. Go go type in type in Amazon.com. Okay. Uh, go to the books. Scroll down to where it's books. Type in my name, Richard Dale Lodi, and all of my books should come up on Amazon.com. So the short of that is to go to Amazon. <laughs> he doesn't have the internet on his phone. I don't have the internet. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Fest okay. Cast is next. Wasn't that fun? And I love this lady. Oh, I love you guys too. <laughs>